Hey guys, um, I installed the driver's side already and I just, just so I can make sure I, I got it all right before I give you the proper information, I want to make sure you guys know how to do this. Um, first of all, Max, no, sorry. Uh, the dog is, <laughs> he's chewing on a vacuum part. Every time. <laughs> sorry. You guys got to donate so that way I can hire a camera person. Hey, the dog <laughs> is chewing on blanket now. Yeah. Max, Max, stop. <laughs> Every Sorry. time we start recording, I... he starts tearing stuff apart. I know. <laughs> Max, leave it alone. Max, stop it. Okay. <laughs> so anyway, sorry about that. <laughs> so we're installing the Poison Spider um, fender liners, which they look pretty nice. I kind of like this little this little grill here, and I was I, we should have sprayed these black before we put it in there. I don't, like, right. I don't like the chrome. I'm not a big guy on chrome. You always take them out again, even though it's... Oh, no, that was a pain in the butt yeah, getting those in there. The These little tiny screws are just a pain. Um, anyway, uh, what I did notice is Poison Spider, I don't like the way they did this. Um, they say to put this bracket on top of this. Well, that's going to add space. It's going to be running, running like a big spacer behind this, and then... You have to pull out on the fender to get it to go in there. So it's not going to sit in the, in the proper place, the, the, the factory spot. So what I did is I just clearanced their piece here. I just took my air nibbler and I cut out a little piece of their fender liner. That way it's going to lay right on top of this. It looks nicer anyway. It finishes that little, that little corner off in there. Um, if you're not running the... Poison spider um, um, fenders, then you probably wouldn't have to do this, but because it doesn't have this bracket. But if this bracket's in there, then you don't have to. Like I said, you don't have to, but I did it because I think it looks cleaner. So I cut that little piece off of it there. And um, you just use this as a template and drill these out, drill the holes out here so it goes through this piece. They give you two nut certs, which are supposed to go here, uh, right here and here. But you can get to these bolts. You just push this back, you can get to these bolts. So I, personally, I wouldn't put them here. I would put them, this is where I put them anyway. Be, I'd put them right here. See this where the bracket is right back here? It's hard to see. There we go. Uh, do you want to grab it. my wand? I see it. Oh, see it. anyway, this bracket right here, there's two bolts right here. And a, uh, the nuts are on the back side of this. It's impossible to get your hand in there to put nuts on the back of this side. So what I do, I use the nut certs in this, this area here. I put the two nut certs. Here, I'll pull this bracket out. All right. Um, but anyway, I use the nut certs for this bracket right back here. Because there's no way, once, this, once you cover this up, Put that cover on, there's no way to get your hand in there. Even if you go underneath the Jeep and put your hand up in there, you're hitting the cat. So I got, I don't really have that big a hand, so, but my, my forearms are big, so they get stuck in there. So I can't, there's nowhere to, nowhere to get to the backside of these nuts. So I use the nut search in there. You don't have to do that. That's just my opinion. Um, so there you go. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and start getting this prepared, drill these holes for uh, the bracket, uh, so this lays on top of the bracket. Um, they do give you, where's the little bolts, right here, they give you these nice Allen heads, stainless Allen heads. Um, they originally have you put these somewhere else, but like I said, I use these right here. And it finishes off really nice. So when you look up under the fender well, you see these nice stainless button heads. But um, other than that, I mean, that's, that's how I'm doing it. You don't have to do it the way I do it. But at least this gives you an idea of how it's done. Uh, another thing, this, this goes behind here. That's kind of a pain in the butt to get that back there. But you just, you just shift it. You just got to push this all the way up in there slide it back a little bit it'll pop in and then slide all this back over 
and then everything fits to where, where it should, should go. Like this, there's, they give you a little self-tapping um, screw that goes here. Uh, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna tap this out myself and put a, uh, an Allen head in there. Cause I don't like the screw that they gave you because it's not stainless and it's gonna rust. I can't stand seeing rust on a Jeep. That, yeah, it's a Jeep. Yeah, you're gonna beat it up, but I don't like putting stuff on there that's gonna rust, so. Uh, I'm gonna replace that with a Allen head, stainless Allen head bolt. But other than that, um, I'm gonna start doing what I gotta do to this and then sh uh, she'll turn it back on periodically so you can see the steps that I'm taking and then um, that ho hopefully I'm helping you guys out because I didn't see any install videos for these things. So um, not that they're that hard, but I didn't see anybody do any install videos. So I'm doing it. All right, guys, uh, I'll get right back to you. Okay, um, I'm just finishing up putting the nut certs in here, the ones I told you about in the back here. Uh, I'm just... Uh, they're nice and tight now. So let me back this out of here. Now what I did, well, I drill these holes a little bit bigger so I can get my, my extension through there to get to the nut cert. And as you can see, the nut certs are installed. And the holes are drilled. And I'm about, about ready to bolt everything back together here, back in. And then, um, let's see, I'll, uh, once I start bolting it back together, I'll, I'll turn it back on and show you guys finished product. Okay guys, I finished uh, drilling my holes and putting my uh, two finish bolts in there. Doesn't that look so much nicer? Doesn't it have this behind this bracket? It covers that bracket up and it, it fills, continues the, uh, the fender well. Um, we're, I'm getting ready to put the, the um, fenders back on. Sorry, it's kind of late. I'm getting tired. So my brain, we have Lyme disease and it kind of slows your brain down a little bit sometimes. But uh, <laughs> um, one word of advice, this little bracket right here that you have to put in to, uh, to hold the fender on, there's little inserts right in these holes. Before you put it in, you'll see the little inserts right here. Um, I just use a little center punch, just kind of get in there and, and uh, straighten them out, make sure you can see them through the holes and they're not blocking the holes. You just kind of straighten all that out before you put the fender on because if you don't, you'll never get that fender on. It'll, you won't get the bolt in there. It'll, it'll just stay where it is. So you have to pull everything back apart and you'll wonder why that bolt isn't going in. Well, that's why because these little inserts, um, they, they move, they slide around. So you have to make sure they're centered before you go and try and put everything back together. Um, other than that, it's, this is pretty much done. Um, just have to drill this little hole to put the stainless bolt in like I told you right here. Um, and then I have to drill a small hole up here through uh, this to put my wire through for the poison spider. Where is it? For the poison spider marker light. That I have to wire in. Um, if you're doing this, if you're curious about what wires go where, even though we'll do another install video for it, but well, I'm just showing you right now, so it'll be a little easier. Where is the wires? Uh, she cut this off a long time ago, so this is a little hard. Where's the wires in here? Oh, there they are. All right, here's the wires. So, this is your positive, the white with the green, and if black is your negative. Um, what you wanna do is connect the red to, or the black to the black, and then the red to the white green. 
Uh, this is if you have a separate turn signal. This does not have turn signals in this wire. So um, this is just strictly a marker light. So you don't need this extra wire here. You just clip at the end of it off. And what I do is I put, um, solder it, put heat shrink over the whole, the whole deal here. Not this whole piece, but uh, you cut this down. Heat shrink it from here to here and um, put it all back together and you take this existing wire loom and you put it back over the where you heat shrinked it and that way it looks nice and clean and you don't have to have worry about it grounding out to something or um, getting water or corrosion in it because it's soldered and heat shrinked i use adhesive heat shrink so that what that means is there's adhesive in here when i heat it up and it makes a complete seal around everything so um, yeah, that's about it. Um, the rest is just the fender put back on. Um, so I don't think you need to see that. Um, yeah, hope, uh, hope this helps you. And, um, if you like it, put a thumbs up. If you like what I do and you want to see more of my videos, subscribe. And, um, if you have any questions, feel free to drop a question and I'll do my best to answer it for you. Anyway, good luck, have fun, and have a good night.